You need to know what's happening at Zaporizhia nuclear power plant because foreign authorities do not seem to be taking it seriously. Zaporizhia, Kherson, and Dnipro region have started drills in case of an accident at Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. The exercises account to as close of real-life events as possible, practicing every possible scenario. For example, if a radioactive cloud reached any region in Ukraine, depending on the wind that day. Evacuation teams are also working in each locality to move people into safe zones, obviously in those places that aren't occupied. Almost 200 additional police patrols are working on the highways to make sure that there aren't any traffic jams, and so that the evacuation vehicles can move freely. And a little while ago, John Kirby said that he does not see imminent danger at Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. Well, let me clarify. By imminent, he does not mean they're gonna blow it up tomorrow, or he might not think they're gonna do it on purpose. I personally think that it's not likely that they're going to blow it up on purpose, but the entire territory of the largest nuclear power plant in Europe is mined. The cooling pond is mined. Four out of six reactors are mined. So a situation with human negligence where all of the personnel is not being rotated as they should be, they're not seeing their families, they're being threatened, they're exhausted, and they're in a constant state of stress, they can make a mistake, a very costly mistake. And for that reason, and for that reason, I urge all of you to buy potassium iodide pills. I linked a particular kind in my link in bio under Amazon suggestions. I don't make commission out of it. Here's what the real pills look like. There's just a lot of vitamins that pretend to be pills and I don't want you buying, not a good thing. Now, this is not for you to freak out at all. This is just in case because better safe than sorry. Do not take them unless exposed to radiation and consult your physician, especially if you have a thyroid or iodine condition.